Hi there and welcome back to my channel. This is Empowered Health with Valerie Grabe. This video is arthritis part three where we talk about do-it-yourself treatments. This is the video that you watch when you want to save time and money by not going to the doctor and see if these treatments work first. Let's dive right in. All right, so let's dive into it. So the first DIY treatment, do-it-yourself treatment is gonna be movement. And why movement? Because the last thing that you want to do is move, right? That's like the last, last, last thing that you wanna do. Um, because your joint is painful and it's swollen. But when we talk about the cause of arthritis, which remember I talked about that joint capsule, and how there's blood flow to the outside and synovial fluid on the inside. If we move, we increase the blood flow to the joint capsule, which will exchange and clean out that synovial fluid. And it will really help with your osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or gout arthritis. So movement, even though it is the last thing you want to do. The next thing is gonna be ice and heat. And for the exact same reason that movement helps with pain, ice and heat, they're gonna bring blood to the area and it will help exchange and clean out that synovial fluid. Now, for a second, I'm gonna talk about ice versus heat, okay? And there is a lot, a lot, a lot of debate on this topic. My personal opinion, okay, personal opinion, and I have looked at some studies on this, is that ice and heat are the same. Okay, it really is a, um, I think it is a DNA and a person to person thing, okay? Personally, heat helps all of my pain better than ice does, but some people say that heat makes things way worse, okay? And so I personally think that everybody is different and everybody reacts differently to different things. There are gonna be people out there that you find that say ice this and heat this ice this type of thing and heat this type of thing. But I personally think that it's really you. So try both and see which one that you get better results from, okay? Or continue to do both. You can do ice on and then heat and ice and heat and exchange them um, all you want. Typically though, when we talk about ice and heat, we wanna do 20 minutes on, one hour off, okay? Whatever it is. Um, all right, I'm going to erase that because that is just distracting. All right. The next thing that I did put into the DIY treatments is physical therapy. And the reason I did that is a most physical therapy offices do not require a prescription to go. Um, there are some that will let you say, I have pain in my knee and I'm pretty sure it's osteoarthritis. Can you please, um, do some physical therapy on it? Um, but if you are struggling to find that, the other thing I want you to do is actually do YouTube videos on different physical therapy for your knee. Most often, for example, knee pain, um, if you YouTube it, it's going to tell you to strengthen your quads. Okay. Quads. Those are those right there. Um, if you've got hip pain, they're going to tell you to stretch your hip flexors. Um, if you've got, uh, shoulder pain, then you need to stretch out this part. So they the joints follow a typical pattern and there are people out there just like me in the physical therapy world that will tell you what you should do um, to make it feel better so that's why i put physical therapy in the diy the last treatment diy treatment for arthritis is weight loss and i don't want anybody to take um offense to this i don't want anybody to say you know kind of like turn me off and say you know everybody says weight loss um Everybody can stand to lose some weight, and myself included. Um, I shouldn't say everybody, but most people can. And arthritis is most often found in the weight-bearing joints. So if we reduce the load on the joint, that really will help. I have other videos that talk about weight loss and diet. And so go and watch those. Um, I will link them down below, or you can find them on my Teachable page. Um, so I'm not gonna go into how to lose weight, but I will say that weight loss will help. The other thing is if we talk about, um, you know, let's say that you're having a, so let's picture a McDonald's Big Mac. I know, right? <laughs> let's talk about weight loss and then I'm going to bring up a McDonald's Big Mac. That's not helpful. 
if you're saying now I want a McDonald's Big Mac. No, a big a McDonald's Big Mac is going to cause just a lot of inflammation in the blood, all right? The wheat and the sugar in the bun and the cheese, and it's just all going to cause inflammation whether you have diet um, intolerances or not, it's going to. And so if there's inflammation in the blood from the Big Mac and it's communicating with the knee or the joint of whatever type, the synovial fluid, that inflammation is going to go into the joint. And so in my diet uh, plans, then I do talk about anti-inflammatory plans. So that might be one that might be good for you because if we reduce the inflammation in the blood, we're gonna reduce the inflammation that's in the joints. All right. That is it for today's video. Thanks for sticking around. And remember, if you want the entire arthritis course, you can check out my Teachable page, which is linked below. And click the subscribe button if you want more videos like this. Thanks and have a great day.